Hi everybody, I'm Chad Shoemaker and I am here today with uh, not one but two guests um, here to speak about the special need for music. Uh, I have Christina Fowler and her son Logan. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Good okay. to see you both today. Yeah. Uh, we are here today to talk a little bit about um, the special need for music program developed by Mr. Jim Howell. And um, your now, Christina, your son Logan went through this program at Claymont School. Is that correct? Yes, correct. In okay. high school. High school. Now he didn't. Yes. He didn't start in middle school. He no, just he came right on. In the in high, high school, school level, one okay. of the first classes to go through. That's outstanding. It's now, exciting. how you're you would consider yourself a pretty good friend with Jim. Yes. And how did you how did you meet Jim? How did you get to know him? How did you get to know about the program? Okay, um, through the high school, they did all their practices and then they put on a program for their parents. Mm -hmm. So we was able to go in and see all that they'd learned and all their techniques. It was really exciting, um, how happy it made them. It was very rewarding. The student body was there to cheer them on. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, we met Mr. Howe. Of course, he introduced himself through the program and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got to know him that way. And Logan always looked forward to drumming. Okay. Now, Logan. Um, did you, how did you feel that first time you got to sit down with Mr. Howell and, and play drums? What was it like? Oh, it was great. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I, I play the drums and I always, I love playing with the drums a lot. Mm -hmm. And you really, did you like the music that he had picked out? Yeah. Was it fun? It yeah, was good. It was good. How did you feel about the, how did you feel about the concerts? Was that, I mean, was that a special part of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah? It was. So, it was. now, do you remember when, when you went to that first concert, uh, Christina, what was that like to be able to sit there and see your son playing an instrument, you know, with a group of other kids? What was that? How did that feel? Uh, it was overwhelming at first because that's not what I expected they were doing. What did, okay, I knew, so what did you expect? What I you just think? thought they were just drumming and yeah. learning a beat like you would just drum. Uh -huh. But they had music, the upbeat music, they mm -hmm. had moves with it. He was so excited, like mm -hmm. he was a showman, it was pretty cool. <laughs> and to see the other, pa other parents, mm -hmm. caregivers, um, of course, they had student body there watching mm -hmm. and how they supported them. It made him and his high school years feel like he belonged. Yeah. He had something of his own, of his own thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Whereas your typical, they had basketball or art club or whatever. Mm -hmm. He had drumming. Mm -hmm. That was his thing. Yeah. And that's, I, we, we had, I've talked with, with Jim, uh, Mr. Howe before about, you know the the inclusion aspect of it of of belonging, right? And that and I know that that can be that is something that I mean. Let's face it, every kid wants to belong, right? And uh, I know also that at Claymont the student body is extremely supportive they were. of of special needs students. Always, I mean that's something that I've seen uh -huh. having been a teacher. I've seen that from from the get go. Now, when you went to that first concert, did you have anybody else with you that came along? Um, I did not. You did, it, was it was just, just you? Me. Yep, it was just me okay. that day <laughs> um, on the first one. Do you one. recall? Oh, uh, well, no. My son Taylor would have been there. Oh, okay. He, was a, he would have been a junior. I think okay. junior or senior. Junior. He mm -hmm. was there. So that was kind of special because mm -hmm. he got to see what Logan was doing. Right. Now, did... Did Logan get to do this for several years then? I mean, did he yes. participate for several years? Yes. Logan, do you have any type of, do, do you, was there one instrument that was special to you? Was there one that you liked to play? Because I know that Mr. Howe played a lot of instruments. Was there one that you liked over the other or did you just like all of it? Was, was the whole music thing? Uh, I love all of it. All of it? Yeah, That's, all of it. Okay. Do you still like to listen to music now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So it's something that uh, occup occupies his time. He's like, is, is there a particular t kind of music that you like more than any other? I like country. You like country? Christian okay. Christian mm -hmm. and rap and <laughs> hip hop. Well, a little bit of everything. Country, oh, yeah. Christian, yeah, rap, hip hop. That's, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, um, 
Logan is now 24. Yes. Okay, so this was, this was a while ago that he was in the program. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been told that he participates in uh, what is called a AFS. Now, could mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. What is it? What, what does that organization do? And, and, and what does Logan do there? Okay, um, it's called Advocates for Success. Mm -hmm. um, it's a day hab with a vocational aspect to it. Okay. So um, people with disabilities come in. Mm -hmm. They're learning life skills, work skills, social skills. They work on that. Mm -hmm. um, the drumming become part of it, which was exciting. Um, in the newspaper, they did an article on Mr. Howe in the mm -hmm. newspaper with the drumming. And I had seen that, and my boss had seen that, and I said, hey, Logan was a part of this. It was really cool. And I think our individuals would be great with this. And she's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Do whatever you have to do to get this started. Uh -huh. So I introduced her to Mr. Howe, uh -huh. gave, her, gave her the number, or her phone number, and they got in contact and she was able to get the drums and purchase the drums so now he gets to so, do it again. So AFS went all out to incur now what how they old did. are the are the people that are there? Um, anywhere from graduated our oldest might be in their 60s. It, it's just anybody so with a disability. So this program that started off for essentially middle school children mm -hmm. has been adopted into an adult yes. setting. Yes. And you've got people of all ages participating in this music pro. Now, have you yourself been able to participate? I have. It's a different when you're on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, because uh, I also work there. Um, oh, oh, you. Oh, okay. So you work yes. there too. All right. Yes. So I work there. Mm -hmm. um, when they have the classes, I'm able to go in and drum and do mm -hmm. all that, and it's really exciting because there's more to it than just drumming. Mm -hmm. um, you're learning rhythms, you're using your senses, you're l using your ears, listening. It's fun to see the individuals doing it, their right. faces light up, right. and it's just something they look forward to. Right, now you talk about, you know, it, it's, it's almost as if it seems like, well, if this, is, if this was designed for special needs students, well, it can't, be, it can't be particularly that complex, but I mean, when you're on the receiving end of that lesson, yeah. it's really something. It is. That's that's fantastic. You're learning the regular beat and then mm -hmm. a double beat mm -hmm. and the drum rolls and so it has appeal for all ages. It does. It does. Uh, even typical people. Now, when you got word that Mr. Howe was going to be coming in, Super and excited. it was exciting. <laughs> yes, it was because I knew what was going to happen yeah. and what it was going to be like. Because there's all, it's almost like that. It's like yes, you I guys couldn't wait until you happen. see this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't know that my boss um, Nancy was going to like go out and buy all these drums. I thought it was going to be like five or six. So we're just going to have a little drumming session. Yeah. But she went all out. She got. I didn't want to say we have like twenty drums. Mm -hmm. And we have the um, tambourines, we have the maracas. maracas, they love the maracas, so, so it's fun. Now, Logan, when you got to see, when, when Mr. Hal came in, did you remember him when you saw him? Oh, again, yeah. Again, when he came to AFS? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How did you feel knowing you were going to get to do this again? Oh, uh, it was good. A good? Yeah. Good feeling? Yeah, good feeling, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you're still enjoying it? Yeah, I am. That's fantastic. That's absolutely great. Well, um, Christina, uh, just a couple of quick questions here. Um, what if, if you have the opportunity to talk to, say, uh, administrators or teachers in another district um, and tell them about this program and the impact that it has had on your son and yes. you and the adults that you work with, what right. would you tell them? What would you say to them? Um, well, I think everybody's life's connected to music. Uh, music brings out your inner peace, your harmony. Um, by being able to drum, it just is a happy time. You can take someone that's stressed, that maybe has mental whatever, mm -hmm. and you put them in that drumming experience, they're a totally different person. It's like a new world for them. Yes. Uh, like an escape for 20 minutes where they're mm -hmm. just focused on drumming and just relating to that music. Right. Well, that's that's uh, that. I don't think anybody could have said it better. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, 
Um, anything else you'd like to add, you know, uh, here at the end? Uh, recommendations, thoughts, concerns, thank yous, anything oh, like that that you'd like well, to throw I'm in? thankful that we have it at our work, that Mr. Howell could come in, Logan could reconnect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about you? I'm, I'm good. Hey, you just yeah. like it. I like it. That's, yeah. Well, it's, that's really, that, that means a lot. So yeah. I'm really glad that the two of you could come and see us today. And uh, I hope you continue to uh, enjoy the wonder and the relaxation and the joy, the absolute joy of music. Yes, thank, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.